Channel. I'm Courtney and I'm Candice. Today we did another inspired by Halloween series. Today we were inspired by candy. <laughs> so originally we were like oh we could do any candy. You could do like chocolate or you could do candy necklace. You could do whatever but it kind of morphed into us doing like a candy princess. Yeah. If you'd like to see how we created our looks keep watching. Okay, we're starting with priming per the usual. I'm gonna go in with the Poreless Face Primer by e.l.f. And I'm gonna use the Makeup Forever Step 1 Skin Equalizer. <laughs> we're both going in with <laughs> Maybelline Fit Me. So I am gonna go in a little bit with my Tarte Shape Tape and I'm going to brighten up this face. And I'm also going to be going in with my e.l.f. Um, setting powder lightly because powder is going everywhere else, let's be real. <laughs> Since we're going to be little candy princesses today, I'm going to be going in with a lot of blush and I actually might just get some eyeshadow. Um, the, I'm going in right now with the Wet n Wild color icon in pearlescent pink. I think We've been inspired by not only candy, but personally, like the Japanese lifestyle. Yeah. Um, their eyes are super bright or yep. super big. I don't know how to explain that. Their eyes? Yeah. They're just like cartoony. They're just like cartoony. cartoony. Very... Over stylized. Mm -hmm. Awake. I'm also putting a little blush on my nose. And I'm really liking it already. <laughs> It's making me look so cute and like I'm a little cold. <laughs> you literally look like a doll. <laughs> okay, I am going to contour though. I want my cheek sunken in so that I can pop my blush up and I'm gonna highlight so that it looks like I have bubble cheeks. I am going to use my Laura Mercier setting powder on these eyes. I'm gonna be going into the Picasso. Um, I'm really gonna try to find my cheeks in a subtle way, so like I'm gonna go in with this white to really uh, make my high points pop, but I'm also going with highlighter later, don't worry. And I think I'm gonna take this darker pink and kind of contour the undersides of my cheeks so that they seem even more like bubbly. Candy princess, come through. My favorite candy is like chocolate. Mine's not. Really? What, what, what is your favorite candy? My favorite probably like go-to would be a Reese's peanut butter cup. Oh, I do like Reese's. Um, I can't get, you look like a who. <laughs> I do. I love it. <laughs> I love chocolate and peanut butter together. Don't get me wrong, I really do like um, sour candy as well. I love sour candy. I'm actually not even that big of a sweets person for like, you could probably bring me for that one. I don't really care for chocolate. What do you like? Donuts. <laughs> so, okay, if you had to pick a favorite candy, what would it be? I like, I like sour straws. I used to be obsessed with Chewy Spree when I was little, younger. Chewy really? Spree. Chewy Spree. <laughs> I do like hard candy, but it, that's also because it's like, you get a longer effect without having to eat a lot. Maybe that's why I like it, because I'm like, I'm honestly like a pretty healthy person. And it's like, ooh, I can get more bang for my calories. I do love a good Reese's peanut butter cup, but that's because I like peanut butter, not the chocolate. Um, if I had to pick a candy, honestly, I don't, I don't know if I could. Growing up, like at Halloween, I'm the kid who like ate hard candy in like a day. And then my little brother is the kind of person that like hoards his candy for like months on end. So I would always like eat all mine and then go steal like one piece at a time from him. You're also the oldest sibling, so you can get away with that. I was the youngest and my sister was so much older than me that they ate my candy. <laughs> Which is maybe that's why I don't like it. It was my sister's fault. 
You didn't get I didn't get the opportunity as a child. <laughs> this is what they tell you not to do, ladies. <laughs> this is actually a really good blush. Like, I mean, like pigment-wise. Okay, I'm gonna be going in with the NYX Duo Chromatic in, I know this one, Twilight Tint. Yeah. And I'm gonna be placing this right now, um, specifically over where I had those high white points that have kind of blended in a little, but now I'm gonna make them stand out even more. While Court is doing her face, I'm gonna start on my eyes. I'm gonna prime them with Too Faced, I can't help but smile. <laughs> with Too Faced challenge. This is the cutest we've ever looked. <laughs> it's time to go on the eyes. I'm actually gonna start with some shape tape on my eyelids to prime them. And this shape tape is super light that um, the majority of things I put on top of it afterwards are really vivid and that's what I'm going for today. And I just primed, I am now going to go into the Morphe 35B. And I'm going to go in with this really pretty purple. It has like an iridescence to it. We're kind of like breaking all the rules, so I'm just gonna go for it, guys. We should really just rename Inspired By to There Are No Rules. Yeah. I'm gonna be going back into my Picasso <laughs> palette. Um, I am going to be doing one pink eye and one blue eye. I think I'm gonna do pink here and blue here. But I'm really gonna like blow out and get some texture because you all know I'm obsessed with getting some texture in my looks. Um, so I'm gonna kind of pull out my eyeshadow this way and then I'm gonna go in with some liners to get some hard spots so it's like <laughs> on my face. Like, <laughs> like pixie stick exploding on my eyes. I apologize. The blush I used <laughs> was the Wet n Wild Color Icon Blush in Fantastic Plastic Pink. I literally think I just <laughs> said that I was doing pink on this side, but I'm clearly not. <laughs> Whatever. Okay, I have a really pretty purple base. I'm gonna bring that down on my lower lid too. But before I do that, I'm going to dip into the Jeffree Star Beauty Killer palette and I'm gonna use this violence right here. I want it to be a little bit tighter right here so that I can brighten up around. As I said, I was gonna go in with some harder spots. I got this Hard Candy Soft Glide liner in hot pants. Speaking of hard candy, I got one too. For the win. Walmart for the win with these. I haven't seen hard candy anywhere else. Have you? No. And these, I swatched on my arm hand. I'm very excited to use it. This is actually kind of looking like paint splatters. Yeah, it literally looks like he's not mad about it. <laughs> so I don't know if you noticed, I left, I tried leaving a little bit of gap right here on my lower lash line because I'm gonna come down with white to give me that look on my eyes. And I didn't want to put color and then have to go over with white because that's way too hard to do. Okay, so like I said, I'm really dragging this color on my lower, under my lower lash line much further than I normally would. I'm gonna be going in with the e.l.f. gel liner. I don't know, you know how e.l.f. is. There's, no, there's nothing on the packaging. It's just a blue gel liner in teal tees. Okay, I'm going back into the Beauty Killer palette and I'm gonna dip into Princess right here and I'm gonna brighten up my eyes with it. And I'm gonna do that by placing it on my inner corners um, in the middle of my lid and I actually might plop it on the outside a little bit kind of my outer V I really want my eyes to sh now that I've had two pixie six explode <laughs> on my face I have a couple NYX epic inks and I'm going to just dot some colors around both of my eyes to bring a little I mean they are mirror images just different colors but to bring a little cohesiveness and a little bit of extra color I'm gonna cross color Love it. I feel like I'm putting sprinkles on. Candy facts. The actual flavor of circus peanuts, which are orange, is banana. 
Brett loves those things. They look disgusting oh, to me. No, I don't like them. Okay, so I've really plopped in some of that princess. Now I'm going to go into my crumbled up NYX Duo Chrome. And I'm essentially just going to place that where I just placed the princess because um, we're amping it up. Oh, NYX Duo Chrome. Oh, oh, you are just so beautiful. I love you. I love you so. This started with Pixie, Pixie spray, but now I look like I have donut eyes. Donut? Sprinkles. Oh, sprinkles. Yeah, I see. I'm gonna attempt making white brows. I have a NYX gel liner, gel liner and smudger in white. And this stuff is thick and we've used it in videos before and I'm really scared that I'm gonna like bust my brows after this. <laughs> like it's not gonna come off, but oh well. For the YouTube channel, right? <laughs> so the, the key to getting like a baby doll-esque eye is to have like a really bright under eye. And normally I would just put white eyeliner if I were a normal person. But I can't put anything on my waterline because my eyes don't like it. So I'm just gonna take the white NYX liquid liner on my lower lash line the best I can. This is gonna be tough because it's liquid. Here we go. I am going to kind of be mim kind of mimic what Candace is doing with the really exaggerated white under eye. I'm gonna attempt using this infallible paints. The tip on it is really like not awesome, but we're gonna see if I can get it to work. Scratch that, going with the NYX. Can I just say I'm so happy we both have the same issue? <laughs> and then what I think I'm going to do once it's dry is I'm going to pop some of the NYX Duo Chromatic on top of the white to give it an extra pop. Um, but I really need to dry right now. I can feel it. I'm gonna go in with my NYX Epic Ink. Um, I'm gonna line my top and then I'm gonna actually tight line this white to make it look like it's actually a part of my eyes. Handy fact! Sugar daddies were originally called Papa Suckers. I'm really glad they changed that. I want a Papa Sucker, Mom! Papa Suckers. Okay, I am going to go in now with my hard candy stroke of gorgeous Soft Glide Longwear Eyeliner in and I'm going to use it like eyeliner. I'm actually gonna go in with mascara and let that dry down and maybe do a couple other things before I put lashes on. But I'm gonna be going in with the Tardis. I never know what this one is called. Lash paint, Tardis lash. Tart, Tardish. <laughs> Tart, Tartist lash paint. Okay, and before I do my brows, cause I'm doing something a little crazy, I'm gonna go in with the NYX Duo Chrome and I'm gonna highlight like a mad woman. So I'm gonna take the NYX Duo Chrome on a flat brush and really try to brighten my cupid's bow area. And I might go in and define it a little bit with um, some more pink as some shadow. This is called Metal Glaze 12 Hour Intense Liquid Foil and it's in the color burgundy. You can use it on brows, eyes, and lips. And so I'm gonna put it on my brows. I am gonna be going in with the Stila Magnus Magnificent Metals and placing glitter on my brows. <laughs> oh no! What? This is crazy, because oh it's a dough foot. <laughs> Another Walmart find today was um, the, this hard candy like glitter palette and Candace and I just touched it and we're like shook because it's actually really wet. It looks like it's like dry pressed and usually you, like you know you can't get like the top of them yeah. off and then there's nothing on it. This is like gel glitter. So crazy. I'm gonna take some of the pink and some of the blue and just like kind of halo effect it. Actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna go look for you with glitter now that I know that this is working better. <laughs> I'm gonna go in a little bit more with this um, deep sea eyeliner. It's so pretty, and I feel like you can't really see it. And I am gonna put on some lashes, so I'm gonna go up a little bit higher with it so that it pops when I put my lashes on. Candy fact: 
<laughs> Cotton candy was invented by a dentist. What? Poor guy, all dentists probably hate him. That's like literally pure sugar. Why would he do that? So we're both gonna be doing lashes, BRB. So what I wanna do really quick is I just wanna add a really tight black line above my lash line. I got glitter in some of the spots, so I'm just gonna touch up mine a little bit as well. Okay, that makes me feel better. Okay, so I'm gonna go into this. Um, the palette that Court bought, what is this called? Glitter, Glitterazzi? I'm gonna just dip a finger in and I'm gonna pat some on my brows. I love the brows, but I feel like they're just a little bit too dark for everything. So I wanna lighten them up a little bit. If hopefully this works, I don't know. <laughs> Amazing. Oh my god, I love it. I, know. I love it. <laughs> Honestly, I don't think there's been a time that in any of our videos that we're like, I shouldn't have put that glitter on. Never. No. Candy fact. Gummy worms were introduced on July 15th, 1981, on the 60th anniversary of gummy bears. So they're like cousins, right? 60th? 60th anniversary of gummy That's bears. That's crazy. <laughs> so gummy bears have been around since 1921. Oh I, think we, I think we need to put our lips on so that we can determine whether or not we're ready. Because sometimes you wanna keep adding, yeah. and that's not always a good thing. Okay. But I do currently feel a little too... We're missing something. I feel a little too cloudy, and not enough candy-y girl, so... Our, our accessories <laughs> and our hair are gonna be candy queens. Just wait. Yeah. I'm gonna be going in with a Kat Von D studded kiss lipstick, a little mini in the color Sexer. I swear to God, it says sexer. S E X E R. It says sexer. sexer. <laughs> I'm gonna be using a Wet n Wild lipstick. This is called 15 Minutes of Flame. Ooh. <laughs> so I'm actually not gonna. I'm gonna kind of like dollop it a little bit, and then I might go on with a little bit of gloss to make it pop. Okay. While Court is finishing up hers. I'm gonna take some of the duochrome and put it in the center of my lips. I did this once before and it looked so pretty. I'm gonna go in with a melted metal from Too Faced in the color Metallic Bunny. And now I'm gonna accentuate my baby doll lips with this. It's weird only having like gloss <laughs> in the middle of your lip. All right, so we're gonna go get our accessories on and clean up this mop, these mops. Oh, we're right back. We're done. Hey guys. I feel we are candy fed. Yes. Um, I think our hair is like mimicking the wrappers on candy. We got some candy necklaces on. We got a little prop action. We got rings. Oh yeah, I have a ring. <laughs> I feel far more candy-ish with everything done before we were like, we look like clowns. What's happening? We're right now, <laughs> but I feel candy princess. We have <clears throat> one more look coming after this for Halloween. I mean, we're gonna continue to do inspired buys, but three for this month was a lot. It was crazy. These, these take us a long time to film. We hope you enjoy them. Yes. Before, Before you, you leave, leave, don't forget to <laughs> like, subscribe, and comment down below. Especially if you have more inspired by suggestions. Mm -hmm. Also, make sure to head over to our Instagram at Courtney and Candice because there will be some cute photos of what we did today. Mm. All right, guys, I think that's it. Bye. Bye.